afternoon. My name is Andrew. I'm the founder of Great Lakes Honey Beekeeper Association up in northern Wisconsin. Today we're going to do a quick package install of a three pound package of Italian honey bees. These bees came from Kelly Beekeeping. So we'll see how these guys react. Got a little bit of sugar water here. I'm just going to give them a little spritz here. This will keep them from flying around so fast. Give them a little bump, get them down, give them another little spritz. Grab the hive tool and it'll pop off the top board. This strap here holds the queen cage down inside here. We're gonna go ahead and pop this off as well. Make sure you're holding on to it because if it falls down inside, you have to reach inside and pull it out and it can be a little dangerous sometimes. <coughs> pump down again. tricky sometimes. Sometimes they pop right up real easy, sometimes they don't. Take your board, get ready, put it right across. I'll keep them from going back in and out. Give them a shake. Come on girl. Okay, Queen is inside. She's marked with a green dot. This side here, you have the candy side. This side here is for direct release. Do not do direct release right away. You have a chance of them wanting to kill her right away. Unfortunately, these guys have been in here for about four or five days, so I could do a direct release. But I'm going to go ahead and since I'm using brand new frames, I'm going to pop out the cork on the candy side. Looks like they're starting to glue it in there a little bit. Bring a little needle with, screw, something like that, pop it out with. Once you get it out here, we're going to go with the candy side going upward. I'm just going to take it. Take the frame out. Space it. Right down, right up inside here. Push another frame up against it. Take the container, put it right down in front of it. <laughs> I gotta go. 
a couple of posts right here. This is going to try and encourage them to go down into the frame. <laughs> Feederboard in, but they're still up on top here, so let's do this. <gasps> okay, I gotta pause this. They yeah, these guys are really flying around. Yeah. They're not like the barn nerd bees, I can tell you that right now. They haven't stung or anything, but they're definitely more flighty. I'm just giving them a few minutes here to kind of calm down. This way I can go ahead and pull up the top. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and put the feeder board on here. I'm doing is kind of redoing some of this here. Excuse me, ladies. Get them to go down inside it, but they don't want to go down. So I'm just gonna use a smoker and give a couple puffs here. a spacer for mine in order to get this to fit on here properly. It'll give them the proper B space.
a little bit of sugar water here. It's a little high up compared to what I need it to be, but it will work. Hopefully. Oh. Flip my board around. You know what? I'm just take this off. Heck with it. I'm just go directly on top of the frames. Just like so. Perfect. That'll work. Take the top screen board. Slowly slide it on. I don't want no bees getting stuck on top of it. I'm just gonna kind of brush off the top. I got him all over my camera. Come on, girls. So the girls will march up there. As you can see, they're already starting to march inside. I'm gonna go ahead and block some of this entrance off though, this a little bit. There you go. They're gonna find the pheromone, they're gonna get inside there. Ladies on the camera checking it out or on my phone. They've actually been on my phone since I started this. That's why I heard my wife, she just realized, whoa, they're walking around on here. Oh god. <laughs> Plus she's allergic, so even for her to even help me out was just great. There we go, it's the last one off the camera. So they're going to turn around and find their way in. Even the ones that are up on top checking things out. They'll either make their way into the one they came with or they'll make it into the one I already have established. Once this hive calms down, I'm going to go ahead and do a hive check on the first hive. Hive number one. I got to see how much drawn comb is out on it and see if it's ready for being expanded. I do wear a bee jacket and a bee veil combo. I don't wear the pants. Don't need them yet. Only reason I wear them is because, well, do you see how many are flying around and this is a new package. I didn't know how docile they are going to be, how they are going to react. Because I've never bought a package from Kelly Bees before, so actually these guys were very good. Just very flighty, as you've probably seen on the video. Now, in the green hive, package, or hive number one, those ones came from Barnyard Bees. They went inside without a hitch just as well. No stings, nothing like that. They went inside. They didn't want to fly around. It was really decent. But today it is about 56 degrees out, really cloudy. Hive number one isn't even really coming out of their hive today. Yesterday was nothing but rain and wind. Chilly, down to low 40s. So I figured today would be a better day. Now all those bees you see down inside that package will actually, as you can see, they're actually marching up in there, and they will. The bees are already inside the box. They're fanning the box already, getting the pheromones from the queen down there. They're going to smell the pheromones. They're going to march their way back up there. Even the ones that are flying around, they're going to find their way in there.
And keep in mind, I'm only like two feet away from these. I would have put my feeder, my top feeder board in over here, but I have to make a couple adjustments on it. So all right, that concludes our video for doing a package install. They're quick, they can be simple. Sometimes it can be in the pain in the butt. Depends on the package, depends on the bees, and depends on how you're doing it. There's a handful of ways of being able to do a package install. This is just the fastest way for me to be able to get it done. cracks and anything on here will just get sealed up. Again, these are just kind of a temp right now, just kind of getting this hive established inside this box. I was not actually expecting this package to sew up yet. So thank goodness I got the bottom boards made and the screen board made the day before, just because I had a few extra minutes of free time. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude the video. Please don't forget to click on like, click on the subscribe button, follow our adventures as well inside our beekeeping season for the 2019 season. We're here to help you learn and to learn together. The more we share, the more we learn. So feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to comment back. Any questions, feel free. I'll try to answer as much as I can. So until next time, I'll talk to you all later. Have a great Memorial Weekend.